Hey there, welcome back. Now let us talk about hyperlink model serializer. Now this is a quick small concept that I wanted to discuss because it helps us to access URL for any particular element. At this point of time, we are using this ID as reference for each element. But when we use this hyperlink model serializer, we are going to get URL instead of ID. Now everything is going to remain same. And if you read their description, the hyperlink class is similar to model serializer, except it uses hyperlink to represent relationships rather than primary key. That's it. That's the only difference between model serializer and hyperlink model serializer. So what we have to do is instead of model serializer, I need to import this hyperlink model serializer. I'm going to experiment here. So instead of this model serializer, I'm going to import hyperlink model serializer. And once that is done, I need to add this request at the time of initiating my serializer. So all I have to do is just copy this one. And at the time of initiating my serializer, I need to get into views. And this is the get request and I need to add it here. So at the time of initiation of my serializer, I need to add this request. We basically need this request content actually. If I jump back here, now we should be able to access this. So if I jump here, refresh this one, you can see instead of ID, now I have access to the URL. That's it. That's the whole concept regarding hyperlinked uh, model serializer. Now we can do this with each and every element. So maybe if I want this for my watch list, instead of this model serializer here, I need to use hyperlinked, but I don't want it actually. I, I prefer ID instead of this URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this. But before that, I also need to talk about for individual elements. At this point of time, I did this with get request of my list. That is my complete stream here. I have individual elements. So if I try to open any individual element, maybe if I try to open this three, I'm going to get an error. Why? Because I haven't added this context. That means my request main thing is so at the time of initiation here, I need to add this context. This looks fine. And if I try to refresh this, you can see it's working fine. So if I jump on to any other URL now, maybe this four, you can see it's working fine now. So that's how we are going to deal with it. Now, the other thing is instead of this ID, if I want the URL, what I can do is if you remember our previous lecture, our relationship, we can utilize that. So that's it. That's the whole concept regarding this hyperlink model serializer. Now there are a lot of things that you can do maybe to control a specific element here. Maybe in our serializer, you don't want this complete list. You want a URL only. You can utilize this hyperlinked identify field and keep on following that. This is a complete relationship which you are not going to utilize much. But these are small topic that maybe while reading any other project, you might see this or maybe you have this requirement, you want this URL. So these work well, but these are small, small topic that I'm trying to cover from the past two or three videos. I hope you got the idea and you can implement this yourself now. One thing I want to say is just pause your learning session now and make sure you try to implement everything that we did till now because it's going to get heavier and heavier after each part. So I think this is a good time to pause and understand everything that we've done till now. And make sure if you get any error, Google is your best friend right now. So I hope you got all the ideas that we have been doing till now. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.